Hello. Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? And um, it was good. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's good. Excellent. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And Friday, you went um, out to dinner. And uh, no, only I was in my job. Okay. And then I went to my house. Yeah. And the weekend? because uh, I finished my work at ten p.m. Okay, and during the weekend, yes. sleeping. And my weekend, I I can rest, and I go. I went with my family. Um, uh, I come on. How do you say? Uh, pasear. <laughs> we went out. We went. We went, oh, we out. went out with my family. Okay, good. Then you took a tour. A tour yeah, like that. Like that. Okay, good. And where do you <laughs> where, where do you work? I work at the airport. Ah, okay. So you right now you are there. Yes, I I am. I in the airport and okay. I finish my work at ten p.m. Ten p.m. And then you have to come back all the way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. But you start at, in the afternoon. Afternoon. Yes. I. Um, I enter uh, 2 p.m. Okay, so you start at 2 and finish at 10. Yes. Okay, that's good. And do you mm -hmm. like your job? Yes. No. It's interesting because I meet uh, new people every day. Okay, that's very interesting too, right? Yes. So that mm -hmm. you, but you have a, let's say, a, like contact with passengers or people? With yes. Ah, okay. Every yeah, that's day, I I meet new people from uh, every country, different countries. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Okay, so you have chance to practice your English too. Yes, uh huh. Okay, I I I try to practice English <laughs> every day. Okay. With the okay, that's very good. That's excellent. Okay, do you have any questions about last class about the future using going to using will? No. Only I have a problem with the platform, the exercise five mm -hmm. point two. I, I I don't remember. With the. Uh, but no. I can check the the chat in WhatsApp. Uh huh. I I can I see the answers. Okay. And you and you now you. I I try I I am going to try to to write. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. Answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. No problem. Okay, mm -hmm. here we have more people now. Okay. Now we have <laughs> Roxana is here, Vanessa. Hi, Hi. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Good. Okay, that's fine. Or or is here too. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Hi. Okay, that's good. And Jesenia. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Fine. Ready? Ready. Okay, that's fine. Okay, people. So then uh, we're going to get started with, uh, with a little review with the future. <coughs> this is what we had last. Uh... Okay. Okay, good. Now, can you, can you see the screen? Yes. Hi. So, are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. Okay. Can you hear it? Yes. Okay, good. Just uh, make sure to mute. 
your microphone for the moment, just in case you have some noise around you. Okay, thank you. Uh, here we go. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways. Are they going to go... Okay, this is the, the part that I want you to, to have. Uh, I want you to have clear. The part that says the two forms, right? For example, take a look at this one that says when we use the present continuous. The question is, what are you going to do? Oh, what? Are, sorry, what are you doing tonight? And then it says, I'm going. Okay, I'm going. Is different from what is she going to do? If you see here, it says she's going to work, but here is only going. Okay, I'm going to a soccer match. I'm going to the movies. I'm go what are you doing tonight? I'm going to, hey, let's say I'm going to bed. Okay, I'm going to, uh, let's say to, to the school. I'm going to school. I'm going to my house. Okay, I'm so oh, what are you English. doing? I'm going, uh -huh. they say I'm studying English. If you're going to use another verb here, you say, I'm studying English. I'm watching TV. But if you want to use, what are you going to do tonight? Then you can say, I'm going to study English. Okay, this is the difference between present continuous and going to when you use the verb going. Okay, here you can use any action. What are you doing tonight? Um, I'm uh, having dinner. I am reading a book. I am uh, preparing my class for tomorrow. I am fixing my computer. Okay, you can use any action here of a plan that you already have. Okay, so that's the important part. Of Go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Okay, so these are predictions, right? Going to. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These Okay, present continuous for plans. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement, and if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? 
What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This, this weekend and next week. Remember time expression, right? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing on Friday? What are you doing this weekend? What are you doing next week? What are you doing next month? Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, for example, if it is in the morning, if you are in the morning, you can say, what are you doing this afternoon? Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I can say here, what are you doing tomorrow morning? What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? What are you doing tomorrow night? Okay, so there are other time expressions that you can use. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Celebrate your graduation. What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Okay, good. Now, questions in this moment? No questions. No questions. Okay, so now we have uh, 10 people here, right? Okay, now I want you to use uh, the two structures that we have been practicing, the one with going to and the one with the present continuous, okay? So then uh, you're going to work in pairs and then you're going to ask for, I mean, write three questions with going to and four questions using the present continuous, right? For example, what, uh, let's say, what are you reading today? Okay, what are you eating tomorrow uh, for lunch? Invent, right? Doesn't matter. The important thing is that you practice verbs, okay? What movie are you watching next weekend? Okay. Uh, what places are you visiting next month? What countries are you visiting in your next uh, trip? Okay. Use anything that comes to your mind. Use your creativity. Use your own language. Okay. By using going to, what are you going to do or what are you doing? What are you going to play or what are you playing, okay? What are you cooking tonight? Or what are you going to cook tomorrow night, okay? So you can use any uh, of those expressions. Now let me check. So we have 12, 11 people. I lost my groups. So there are 11 people. There we go. Okay, now you're gonna get your invitation. Oh, wait a minute. There is a problem here. Yeah, I made a mistake. It was only two groups. It was five groups.
Okay. Now you're coming back. Teacher, es que me salí, tuve un problemita aquí técnico. Uh, it's okay, no Perdón. problem. Don't worry. <laughs> I made a mistake too. Okay, so then here we go again. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna have five groups. Now we have. Hi. Okay. okay, now accept your invitation, join in the group. Uh, tomorrow night I will be in my English class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you have to use tomorrow night. I'm going to. Okay. Ah, I'm going. Yeah. Okay. Practice. I mean, that's what you said is correct, right? Uh -huh. But I, I would like you to practice going to, or, going to I'm, go or using, for example, I am a. I, I, what are you going to tomorrow night? I'm going to be in my English class, or I am attending. My I'm attending the two forms, ah, okay. okay, because okay. of tomorrow. Okay, so use okay. going to and AG forms only. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Ah, pues, um... All right. Hello. Hello. Hi, How are you? Hi, 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 Roxana. Okay, I want you to ask questions. For example, Roxana, you can ask George. First, practice going to, right? What are you going to do uh, next uh, month? What are you going to do in your next vacation? What are you going to do in March? What are you, uh, for example, what are you going to buy for Christmas? What are you going to buy for your present? Try to use different verbs, okay, with going to, okay? And after, you can practice, for example, what are you eating for breakfast tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I am eating uh, only mush, or I am eating fruit, okay? You got it? Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. Practice only those questions, right? Going to and ING forms, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, Jorge. Okay. Yeah. Do after class. Uh, after class, I'm going to to my house. Re repeat the question, George. I, 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 I'm Ronnie. Oh, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes, Ronnie. Repeat the question. What? What are you doing? So not, uh, after the class after class okay after class, class. very good mm -hmm. that's nice mm -hmm. okay excellent then remember mm -hmm. going to and ing forms right no questions no all right thank you very much see you later <laughs> <laughs> okay Please, are, are you in your work excuse me uh, are you in your work you Marcel. okay uh -huh. uh, what are you doing it you tomorrow in the morning in your work. Um, I'm going to uh, design a campaign. I don't know. It's okay. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to design a campaign for uh, the Cameroon. 
That's nine. Do yes. You, do you work in, uh, in marketing? Yes, I'm graphic design. <laughs> oh, excellent. That's great. beautiful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Uh, thank you. <laughs> very interesting yes very creative and interesting that's that's what i was going to say it's very creative and interesting okay good no questions uh, um, no okay. okay continue practicing please okay very good thank you all right thank you thank you have a jorge are you going glass of milk Milk. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, I take milk leche. Ajá, pero glass, glass of milk. Yes. Yes. Correct. I I am I I am taking I am drinking I am drinking glass of milk. What was the question you said? Yeah? No, it's a sentence. No, but the, the question I, what did what did Eddie ask you? No, nada. Uh, uh -huh. Only, only we 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 are, we are do sentence. Okay, now practice with questions. You think going to? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now practice okay. with questions. For example, suppose I ask you, what are you going to drink after class, mm -hmm. Yesenia? Then you can say, I'm going to drink a glass of milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you going to? Okay, what are you going to have? For lunch tomorrow, uh, we um, I'm going we to. do we do a sentence to okay. uh, what are you what are you cooking for dinner? Okay, correct. Questions, right? Ask the question, and Eddie answers the question. Then Eddie asks the question, okay. and then you answer the question. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No problem. Right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I start the the, the question. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are you uh, going? Hello, Liz. Hi, teacher. What happened to Ronnie? <laughs> Ronnie is going to to his bed. <laughs> <laughs> went, I don't know. He went to I bed. Think the, <laughs> I think the internet is bad to okay. Ronnie. So, oh, you said, <laughs> what are you going to do right now? I say, I'm going to sleep, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay good let me see oh no he's back he's back probably <laughs> what group is this this is group 
uh, number three, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can bring him back. <laughs> no, but you don't show. Okay, let me get out of here and I'll send him to your group. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what happened, Ronnie? Liz is talking by herself. <laughs> my my internet is very bad. I know. Okay, I, I'm yeah. going. To, I'm going to Sorry, say. But, but, but I, I changed ahorita my my internet. I, oh, okay. I try to to do in my phone. Okay, don't worry. I'll I, send you back right now to. I don't know. I will please. Please. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. No problem. It's very. Good. There you go. Okay. 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 Hello. Hi, hello. Hello, Xiomara. You're here. Hello. I'm starting the class. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yes, I can see the others are working in, in pairs. Evelyn, are you there? Okay. Evelyn. Hola, pro, pro, estoy probando sonido porque no pude entrar hace un momento. No ah, escuchaba. Okay. okay, now? Sí, me escucha. Yes, I do. Very well. Okay, yes. Yes, La loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Okay, the other group, the, the others are working in pairs. They are practicing with the questions uh, for the future. For example, uh, what are you going to do tomorrow? What uh, places are you going to visit in your next trip? Okay, or also practicing with uh, the present continuous as uh, future okay and say for example what are you doing after class uh, what are you celebrating next month okay what are you buying with your next next check? okay expressions like that okay all right okay example, uh, if you want you can practice right now some questions using the future right you got mm -hmm. it? Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay. My work is uh, around Salvador del Mundo, but the traffic okay. is horrible. <laughs> yes. Everywhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes in the bus, I want not to take a nap, but uh, I'm scared before because I passed the my stop. <laughs> oh yeah, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Uh, <laughs> okay, they they might they might take you to Mariana maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they they, 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 they can give you a, 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 a free a free tour around San Salvador. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, no questions, guys. No more questions. Creo que Moisés tenía una pregunta. Teacher, eh, creo que no es en el tema, pero este estaba preguntándole a ellos que cuando usamos el present continuous con will, verdad que hay una eh, para negativo, pero siempre usando el will. Uh, with the present continuous, mm, I will, for example, I will go. Uh -huh. Or I will be no. Or I will be going. No, for a question, uh, for example, uh, are you will let me? Mm -hmm. uh, you will. You will buy a 
a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. That's a fair one. Y usted me, ajá. Okay, the, ah, question, the no, question is, will ajá, you the buy? question in, ajá, pero en negativo. Si usted me va a decir, no hay... Want. Ajá, want. esa, 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 esa. No hay want, ajá. For example, ajá. Say, will you buy a soccer ball? No, I won't. Ajá, ajá. Then, uh, this is when you use will. Ajá. And if you say, Ajá. for example, are you going to buy a soccer ball? You say, no, I am not. I'm not. Ajá. No, I'm not. Or are you buying a soccer ball? No, I'm not. Okay. But when, you say, when you say will, is want. Okay. Will, okay. The, the contraction of will not. Okay. Ajá. You say, will no. you, will you stay, will you stay home this weekend? Say, no, I won't. No, I won't. I will go to the beach or I will go to visit my my parents in Chalatenango. I don't know. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. No, I won't. Ah, okay. Okay? Thank you. Yes, but it, but yeah. about, this is also future, right? For example, mm -hmm. uh, suppose I say, will you buy a house? Would you buy a house in Miami someday? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I, ho I hope so, right? Say, okay. uh -huh. So I say, no, I won't. I will buy it in New York, in Manhattan. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. say, no, I won't. Fancy. I huh? Yes, we can bring it. So fancy. <laughs> no, it's, it's just a dream. Huh? <laughs> it's only an exercise. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. Things um the milk. Mm -hmm. Is oh cookies, eggs. Okay. And the beans. Mm -hmm. What are the questions? What is this? Um, get on the What will you buy in the supermarket? Perfect. That is perfect. That's mm -hmm. right. What will you buy, or what are you going to buy, or what are you mm -hmm. buying? Remember, what are you buying is a plan, right? For example, I said I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow. It's a plan. And then you say, what are you buying at the supermarket? Oh, I'm buying, uh, for example, the sodas, uh, snacks, because, mm -hmm. we're, because we're having a party on the weekend. Okay? So I am, mm -hmm. I am using only present continuous because it's a plan that I have. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm buying this, this, and these products because we're having a party on, on the weekend. Okay. Okay? okay, so this is when we have a plan. Oh, I'm going to, for example, what are you going to do next weekend? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to, I'm going to play soccer. I'm going to visit some friends. Oh, I'm taking my family to the beach. Okay, I am playing with my daughter. Okay, I'm going to play with my daughter. Uh, probably some predictions or plans that you have, but you are not very sure. Okay. What are mm -hmm. you doing uh, next Sunday? Next Sunday? I'm yes. Going, yes, I'm going in the morning. In the morning, I'm going to play soccer. Okay. And in the, oh. yes, and in the afternoon, mm -hmm. I'm going to visit my mother. If, if I can oh. walk. If I can walk. Nice. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm going to visit. I, I'm going to a uh, church. With I'm my family. Church, that's good. Yes. Okay, that's an excellent, an excellent one. Okay. In okay. Monday, in the uh, in morning, in, in the, the morning. afternoon, uh -huh. in the afternoon, visit my family too. I'm going to visit. I'm going to visit my family. Correct. And you, Xiomara? Mm -hmm. And the Sunday. Uh huh. In the afternoon, I'm going to run. To run. Okay. Uh huh. I'm going to run. In the morning, I sleep. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going. I'm going to sleep. I going to still sleep. I'm going. To I'm sleep. going to sleep. Uh -huh. Okay. Very nice. Good. <laughs> yes, relaxing very, teacher. Yeah, very relaxed. Yes. That's Sunday, you know, for a very hard in the work. Yes, they say Sunday. Sunday fun day. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to study uh, uh, English too. Yes, in, so the they... <laughs> <laughs> in, in the evening, Evelyn. In the evening, right? In the evening, tonight. <laughs> ah, yes, every day. Okay, everybody. Every, now we're, every day. Now we're going to stop the groups and they're going to bring all the people back. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. A uh, practice chica. Hi. Hello. Everybody's back. Hello. Okay. Yes. Okay. A couple of seconds and everybody will be here. Okay, good. Now? Hi. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So now we're going to continue with the uh, topics. Okay, so that was the little review for for the um, knowledge. Future. Uh -huh, this is, and then you have the knowledge check. What is the knowledge check about? Okay, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Okay. Then this one, are, mm -hmm. this is a yes no question, right? Are you doing anything on Friday, night? on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Uh, this is the one. We, we are having friends over for a barbecue. We're having friends over. It's like we are, some friends are visiting, right? For a barbecue on Sunday, would you and your parents like to come? This is another way to invite, right? Would you, come, would you like to come to, to the barbecue? Uh, this one is in town next weekend. What's that one? Are you, Where are you studying? Uh, are you staying in town in next the, weekend? Uh, in town next weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? Okay, in the part two. Let's complete the responses with be going to use the verbs in brackets. Okay. I am I'm going to be I'm going, going to, be. to be here on Saturday, right? On Saturday. And the next one is well, my father is going, is going to, to going visit going to, to visit, visit my brother, correct. Uh, Sorry, I can't. I am to work. I am going to work. Overtime. Overtime is like extra time, right? Overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? And can we go to a late show? I am going to, going to, stay, to, stay, going to stay at the office till seven. Seven. It doesn't say p.m. or a.m. Right? But you gotta be a.m. p.m. Okay. So that's you can complete that one and, and practice with that one. Okay. Now we have the next one. It is a different topic. Now I guess we're gonna use for as will be introduced. Now, Jesenia, can you read this uh, objective here, please? Okay. Um, the verbs tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people uh, talking on the phone. Okay, good. Now, do you remember the verb tell and ask? What is Uh huh. Yes. What is tell? Contar. Decir. 
that could be, it, it has different, different context, right? Different meaning, depending on the context. For example, tell me a story could be contar, right? Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, tell me your name, dime, okay? But also, if I give you a message, uh, for example, Ronnie, can you tell Jesenia that, okay? This is, for example, le puede decir a uh, uh, Jesenia, right? It's like to give a message, okay? And ask, what about ask? Ask is ask, 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 ask a question. Ask a question, but I can also ask you a favor. Mm. Okay. Hacer. Pedir, right? Ask. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, for example, uh, you can say, for example, Yesenia, can you ask Xiomara to call Ronnie? And then you go and say, Xiomara, uh, can you call Ronnie? Okay, you ask. Okay. Ask a person. Pedir also, right? Is, is formal or, or is no, it formal? The, Depends how you say it, okay? This okay. is the, the connotation. If I say, for example, uh, ask him to call you, that's very informal and rude. Uh -huh. But if I say, but if I say, uh, if I say, Ronnie, would you please, would you please tell mm -hmm. or ask your, uh, say your sister to call Yesenia? Say, would you please, could you please? Formal. That's more formal, mm -hmm. huh? If you use yes. good or you could. That's what you're going to see in the video, okay? Now let's watch okay. the video and pay attention. And after, I can give you more explanations, okay? okay. Conversation we're about to hear. Two words, very interesting meaning. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Okay, if you want, mute your, your microphones, your mics so that you don't interfere with the with the conversation okay here good morning parker industries hello may i speak to ms graham please i'm sorry she's not in can i take a message yes please this is mr kale is that g a l e no it's k a l e all right Tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Okay. Now we're going to see the conversation, but... Here it's okay. Can you see it? Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Very good. So then, uh, see if you see uh, if you can identify expressions or new words or something that is new for you. It says good morning. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Hey, like she's not here, right? Uh, can I take a message? Uh, yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G uh, G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her. Listen to this. Tell her, not tell her. Tell her. Tell her. No. Tell her please. Tell her, tell her our meter 
Our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask, look, this is the question. Could you ask her, could you ask her yes. to call yes. me this yes. afternoon? My number yes. is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. K. I'll sure. give Mrs. Gra uh, Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. No problem with that? Mm -mm. Okay. No. With expressions. Okay, good. Now you're gonna watch the second video and we're going to listen to the explanations. And after we can, we, oops, wait. Where is, here. Okay, good. Now, uh, by the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask, okay? This is what we're going to practice. You will, have, you will have to learn to take and give a message, okay? Now listen. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? <coughs> Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add this, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Add brackets, because it may be omitted. Okay, in this part you can see that we have, right? Remember, this is message with a statement, okay? The statement is, the class is at five. Okay, this is the statement. It's a piece of sentence, right? You say, please, okay, tell the person one, okay, that, and that be a statement. The class is at five. That is the message, okay? Please tell Antonio that his car is outside, okay? Please tell Antonio that uh, he has to pay me the ten dollars okay that's a message okay. <laughs> okay you see but that's a statement right that's a sentence after that please tell a uh, let's say one that he has to come to classes every day okay 
then please tell one that he has to study and practice English every night. Okay, like, like that. Okay, those are messages. Okay. We're leaving a message with a request. This is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus a request. Okay, in the previous, it was statement, a sentence. But now this is a request. Ask for something. Request. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, ask for something. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Okay. Ready? This is the statement, or would you to be polite. Okay, so, oops. Polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this speeches may be omitted. We're leaving a message with a request. This okay. Here's where the request. Okay, you say please. Okay, you say please, could you, or would you? Please, then ask, then the person, then to, and then the request. Please ask Lucia to uh, bring my computer back. Please ask Lucia to uh, get me some food from the supermarket. Please ask Lucia to uh, to do to do the homework for tomorrow. Please ask Lucia to copy the classes. Okay, <laughs> this is you know just ask you know you're asking her to do things. You know, with, your, with our children, sometimes they don't want to copy the class in the school, okay? Then you tell the teacher, teacher, please ask Lucia, okay, to copy everything in class, okay? So you ask somebody with a request. This is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. The first one is our, our next class is on Friday. And the other one is? on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. Okay, what is a possible message for this is our next class is on Friday? If I tell, okay guys, listen, our next class is tomorrow. What are the messages that you're going to use? Okay. For example, so Yesenia, Being please. in the class. Uh-huh. Please the tell. Class is tomorrow. Which one? Please tell they the class is tomorrow. Uh huh. Please tell Ronnie that our next class is tomorrow. Please tell Marcela that our next class is tomorrow. Okay, please could you tell please? Marcela? Uh -huh. Who's missing today? Who's missing today? Do you remember anybody who is, ah, Carlos, right, Carlos? Kevin. Kevin too, right? Then you say, for example, okay, could you please tell Kevin that our next class is tomorrow? Carlos. Could you please tell Carlos that our next class is tomorrow? Okay, so these are possible messages that we can give. You take the message and you give the message to somebody else. Okay, okay. good. And the okay. other one is? Uh, please, just uh, yes, uh, please. Could could you please, Jesenia, uh, ask the class for me tomorrow? Copy the class for me tomorrow. Uh, could you please? Then you, for example, the, in this case, you are asking Jesenia, right? Could you please copy the class for me tomorrow? 
Okay, then uh, Jorge asks Yesenia to copy the class for him tomorrow. Okay, this is the action. The request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay. Let's Could you please add this for the exercise 5.9? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we got excellent. I, no, but, I don't but, understand. No, not for the exercise, for the answers of the exercise. <laughs> uh, okay, but yes, you but, tell the the other the all think. Yes, tomorrow tomorrow we're going to do it. Don't worry. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna do it here because you're gonna practice, and after we get we can we can do it together, right? And see how we, how it works. Okay, good. So then uh, this one is, uh, okay, yes, we can do this one also. The 5.9. The 5.9, yes. right? <laughs> but if you see, for example, what is the answer here? Let me see, you have here? Look at the following I, 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 uh -huh. I put in the number one, the, could you tell me, uh, could you tell me uh, the, Answer? Uh, and it's wrong. No. What? <laughs> no, because okay. it, because here's a, that is the problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> For example, tell. Could you remember that? Okay, I want you to look at this. Pay attention to this. It's a, it's a good example. Yes. Let me yes. I'll show you the. Um, here. This is. Okay, here. Okay, you have to remember this. Could you tell? Uh huh. Okay, when you're using here, for example, uh, tell, and okay, here you ask. Tell? Look, could you tell, not me, could you tell me? Hair. Uh -huh, could be hair. What's another, another, another object for now? Is him. Him. him 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 remember him as uh -huh. as correct okay uh -huh. uh, them 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 mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. what else for example you but is is there are me and you is not very logical right you say okay could, could you tell you for example no mm -hmm. Or could you tell me? Probably could you tell me yes. For example, could you tell me your name? Could, but it's different. Okay, the question is different. Could you tell me where where you work? Uh -huh, that's different. But is it could you tell me? Could you uh, tell me one number? Here. Can you name? tell me a, a name? Can you tell but this is a little bit different. It's not a message. It's a question. Okay. Okay? It's not a message. Could you no, tell me. Could, could you, you tell, tell me Juan Roberto? Call me. Could okay. No, no. Could you tell uh, Adriana's number? Could you tell? Could you could you tell me Adriana's number from? Okay, but here, for example, you say here you say could you tell me uh, Adriana's phone number? It's a question. It's not a message. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, could you tell, could you tell Adriana, okay, uh -huh. that, that my telephone number is five, 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 five. Then you give the message to Adriana. Okay. Okay. For example, here in the, in the image, I have a uh, Ronnie and I have you. And I say, I don't, I don't. I don't, I cannot hear Gio and Gio cannot hear me. But Ronnie can hear Gio. And I said, Ronnie, please tell Gio that the meeting is on Friday. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Then Ronnie. Gio, uh -huh. the teacher say the meeting is on Friday. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. That's correct. You see? That's yeah. how. Teacher, for that's for example, how. could you tell, please? that her uber is here <laughs> okay liz ronnie says that your uber is there yes but i have a 
another transportation. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> the bus. The okay. bus is about my, my company. Uh, <laughs> Ronnie, Liz says that she has another transportation, but thank you very much. <laughs> You're <Okay>. welcome. <laughs> okay, you see, those are messages, okay? When you say, could you tell, okay? And this is a, a nice way to say, would you tell, could you tell, or please tell, okay? These are formal. Now, it can be a command, okay? It can be like a little order, but if you say please, for example, if you say to your children, if you have a boy, if you have a girl, if you say, for example, Johnny, tell your mother that I am ready. Uh, Johnny, tell your mother that I am waiting for her in the car. Okay? I am not using please, I am not using please, good or would, but I am sound, uh, nice, right? So the intonation, the connotation, okay? Okay. okay. So then you can use that, okay? Then okay. Uh, I, will, I, will, uh, I will put this in the WhatsApp group for you to check, but this is very important, okay? Very important. I will emphasize this. Please tell Anne, look at this. No, please tell me your name. Because that's a question, it's different. Remember, mm -hmm. that is a message. And in the message is, please tell, you are saying that, and that the meeting is, so there are three people here. The, pers the person who says, who says the sentence, the person who receives the action, and the person who is going to give the message. Remember in the example that I gave you, I gave the message to Ronnie and Ronnie passed the message to Gio. So we were three people, Ro me, Ronnie and Gio. Okay, the person who said the sentence is me. Uh, the person uh, who got the message was Ronnie and the person the message was directed to is Gio. Okay. Gio. Okay, so there are three people involved. I got it. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. Practice this and then uh, tomorrow if you have any questions, we're gonna do some practice with the conversation and the sentences. And we're going to do, try to do the, the, the knowledge check, but if not, we do it here, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay nice people. See you okay. tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. And enjoy your dinner and drinks. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, everybody. Okay, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.